Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Disco Cheetah Korean Grill in downtown Vancouver. Super excited. This was a very well-known food truck and now they have an establishment here on Davie Street. So here we're gonna eat some Korean food. Here my good friend Mr. Scott. You always ask me for different cuisines and I'm here delivering. So what we have today, we have a wagogi beef rice bowl. So a very traditional kind of Korean beef rice bowl. We have a van tofu salad bowl. Looks delicious, love the colors on all this. We have some delicious looking bao with a chili chicken and a pulled pork. We have a Korean fried chicken salad bowl with some kimchi. And we have what they call their sampler. So we have Korean fried chicken, falafels, and french fries. It all looks delicious. Scott, ready to eat some food? I am, yeah, it's starving. So let's just get started here. All right. Take your piece. I think I'm gonna start with uh, some of this beautiful looking Wagogi beef bowl. Uh, I will try tofu. The tofu, yeah. Bad tofu. Oh boy, dude, you can try the flavors on that. Mm. I love the vegetables. It's a really nice serving of veg vegetables coming with all these. Not even just the salad, but also this rice bowl. The flavors are great. I feel like I'm getting a balanced meal. The wagogi is very like uh, it's very sweet. It's very salty, it's very rich, but it's perfect. It's soft, it's savory, it's everything it should be. And there's even a bit of greens underneath the uh, other vegetables here for the rice. Also some nice cabbage. Mm. How's that tofu? It's good. I don't think I've ever liked tofu before, so it's really good. <laughs> really nicely flavored. Eh? Mm. It looks great. Amazing. They have so many cool different sauces here. Chili mayo, you got sweet chili glaze, right here. garlic mayo, and chili chili. This is their honey beet. It smells delicious. He said this is really good on that salad. On this salad here? Yeah, I'm gonna try it on my greens on this portion as well. Oh yeah. Honey beet. Very fresh. It's a little sweet. It has a nice little acidity to it. Kind of reminiscence of vinaigrette. Yeah. I love this. What's so fantastic about this is like, I feel like I'm getting my greens. Yeah. I'm getting my greens. Right? In. Finally. <laughs> is that the chicken bowl? Yeah. It's just like a very well balanced meal. It feels filling but light at the same time, right? It's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. I don't even need a sauce for this. It's perfect in itself. Chili mayo. I'm sure this is going to be delicious on that beef. Oh yeah, oh man. Very delicious. Switch it up, try this pan tofu salad. Got some sauce, looks like marinated tofu here. Oh, oh man. Mm. Right? That's delicious tofu. Yeah. It has a lovely kind of Korean barbecue taste to it. Very flavorful, very nicely spiced, a little bit sweet. Oh, it's perfect. It's like a little bit of a, kind of like a little bit of a chili, but a light chili. Dude, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I see why you said, like, you liked it so much. It's really good. The dressing's perfect. You get that beat. It's like, it's so summery. It's summery dressing. That's also really good with uh, the, 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 the chili mayo, too. Yeah. The beef there is, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's very flavorful, got a nice... It's flavorful, it's, it's tender, very spice, like, very well spiced. Yeah, spice, it's got a little bit of a... Man, I love these green salads. It's like, it's perfect. 
It's just so light and like so fresh and delicious. Add some chili sauce to this. Can't go wrong with a little bit of heat. Spice things up a bit. Oh yeah. Ooh. Bit of heat that, that's for sure. Next, let's try some of these delicious looking bows. So we got the pulled pork, or the chili chicken here. If you're not familiar with what a bao is, a bao is like a, it's a very nice, I almost got like a little bit of sandwich, and this one's almost like a taco. We have this delicious puffy outer layer. Here we have some delicious pulled pork. We've got some pickled veggies on there as well. Oh, that smells so good. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Oh, boy. Oh man, that's perfect. Very, very nice and rich from that pulled pork. It's a delicious flavored kind of mayonnaise on there. There's a lot of flavor. It's not spicy spicy, but there's a good a bit of spice, a little bit of heat. And it's giving a very, I guess like a winter spice. Like it's a warm spice flavor to it. That's excellent on that bow. Chili chicken. Oh yeah. This is everything you'd expect when you eat like at a Korean grill. It's just deliciously flavored. It's spicy, but it's sweet, savory. I like full pork. That's awesome. The um meat is so tender, it's juicy and flavorful. The dough is an airy. Um, it's, it's, I don't know what the flavor was inside there, but that was... Um, the pork? Yeah, it's got this nice... Yeah, excellent like flavors. A, almost like a, reminds me of a curry type yeah, sauce. Yeah, like you said, very warm, yeah. very warm spices. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's hella good. All right. All right, so next we have the sampler, so Korean fried chicken, falafels, and french fries. And then, we also have a delicious Korean fried chicken salad. I'm gonna start on this a little bit. Help yourself on that. All right. We have all our dipping sauce. We have everything from chili sauces to vegan mayonnaises. Some almond butter vinaigrettes, which I'm going to try, an almond butter sauce. Ooh. I heard this is the best for this, so let's try some of that. Delicious looking fried chicken. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. It's crispy, it's juicy. Excellent flavors. Really nice on almond butter, it's very rich. But it adds a very nice nutty dynamic. How's fluffy, dude? Waffles are really good. They've got nice crisp on the outside. They're fluffy, airy on the inside. Oh yeah. Kind of have got a um, almost similar to a, a, a Indian spice as well. Um, I get some like cardamom in there. Yeah. Almost a little bit of a not that cinnamon, but definitely a bit of a cardamom. It's really actually very moist. Very moist on the inside there. Mm. Really good finger foods. Make sure you try that chicken in now. Chicken in that? Okay. Yeah. I love all these pieces of chicken. Like I said, super juicy, super moist. What I like about this too is the pieces that I've just been eating, I have been fighting with bones. I find sometimes uh, in fried chicken, you know these little bones that you're dealing with? Not at all. I was actually noticing the same thing. It's just, it's perfect. Yeah. It's very easy, safe as well. Mm -hmm. We're all about safety here, so. Would recommend. Try some of this kimchi. Woo! Got some good heat to that kimchi there. Do you like kimchi? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't used to like it, but then I used I was taking it for uh, gut health, and yeah, um, yeah I, I do enjoy it now. 
those fermented vegetables good for your gut health. That's right. Like I said, this is just like the, all these meals have been like the like they just remind me of like I want like a nice light kind of healthy lunch. Mm. It's perfect. Kimchi, good gut health. You got your fiber from your vegetables. Keep things moving. You know what I'm saying? Just that crunch. Here we have a vegan plum mayonnaise. Hi. Ooh. Try this too, brother. All these sauces are delicious. Okay. Yeah. Next time I come, I'll Yeah. It's like a very nice sweet mayonnaise. It's sweet. It's creamy. Oh man, this is delicious. Yeah, this sweet chili glaze, this is definitely what was on that uh, tofu earlier. Mm. Oh man, it tastes great on chicken. Yeah. Chicken's just falling off the bones too. Mine is very, 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 very juicy. Yeah, very juicy. Got a little more of this delicious dressing on there. The honey beet. Would recommend. I didn't think this was going to be such a nice, healthy lunch. This is beautiful. I know. Try a few of these seasoned French fries. So I have a delicious French fry spice on these. There's a little bit of heat. I'm getting some cayenne. Almost a little bit of a, like a really nice, almost like, I don't know, nacho vibe. It's really good. If you kind of get like a nacho, like kind of like Dorito, mm -hmm. a little bit spicy. Like just just a hint of it though. Yeah, it's really nice. You can see that, yeah. Yeah, you can see the, the spice right on it. Give it a nice yeah, red reddish tinge. That's a good taste of French fries. Yes, yeah. And for Joel to say that, <laughs> it's a good taste of French fry. It's more of this delicious fried chicken. I very much been enjoying this fried chicken. Crispy, juicy, and no bones. I mean, no bones. <laughs> yeah, it's. I've not been having to deal with bones. This is perfect. It's simply like it's like a good grab and go. And this almond butter sauce. Holy jump! It's. It's a vibrant location here. We're lots, literally, literally right on the street. Right on the street. Lots of people around, cars going by, so it's really lively. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit of entertainment, let's just say, when you're having lunch or dinner here. In all the best way possible. You get dinner and a show for free. Mm -hmm. Maybe some music as well, right? Yeah. Unexpectedly. So I was very pleasantly surprised by the vegan mayo, uh, the plum mayo there. It was even better than the garlic. So I had the garlic mayo first, it was delicious, and then I had the vegan, I can't stop going back to it. Yeah, it's like, it's sweet, it's savory. Creamy, yeah. it's just, yeah. Espe especially to be vegan, like it tastes identical to a real mayonnaise and actually probably even better. Yeah. It's delicious. Really good sauces here. And they have a nice variety of different sauces here that come in these little dipping cups here. So to go, nice and easy to dip and uh, very tasty. Uh, every single one of them is delicious. And they're giving you all the sauce with that sampler. So, but like definitely make sure you get that almond butter mm -hmm. sauce. That one's delicious. The almond butter for sure. Uh, that plum mayo is amazing. I really like the uh, the sweet chili glaze as well. It's, it was exactly what I was tasting on that uh, Van Tofu, and that was the like in all the best ways possible. I'm still trying to find what that flavor is. It's a mystery, right? On the fry? Yeah. I'm trying to find what the flavor is? Yeah. I think it's like a potato chip flavor, you know? Yeah, it tastes like a potato chip, but kind of like a, I don't know, a dressed all, like a all dressed, maybe? Maybe maybe more of a nacho y. Yeah, kind of like nacho. I don't know if we'll ever know. It's something though. I know I've tasted it before. 
You know what it's like? I had a Miss Vicky's chip before and it's kind of like a... I think it's called like a sweet chili sour cream or something. It kind of tastes like that. Okay. Okay, I'll go with that. Oh, well, anyway, there's... I still don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's delicious. So that, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of video today. A little bit of a little mukbang, trying out some Korean food that you guys asked for. So huge thanks to Disco Cheetah, Korean Grill. Thanks for accommodating us. Uh, really, like I said, happening spot down here on the street. Very good. Enjoyed the delicious food. At that, Scott, any words? No, I just want to thank Disco Cheetah for having us. This was a great little uh, meal and mukbang here. So very enjoyable, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. What was your favorite meal? What was your favorite item of the day? Oh, the the bows. Those were kind of unique. The uh, yeah, pulled the, pork the bows, bow, yeah. bows. Yeah, yeah, those were. Uh, those were actually fire. So yeah. I think, yeah, as you know, you mentioned that that pulled pork bow, and I love that Korean fried chicken. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. It was delicious. The pieces were like soft and savory and juicy and crunchy. So, hell right. So everybody, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry. Of course, till next time, happy eating and you know what to do. Do what we do. Yeah.